Hi Libra, I'm an energy worker here to bring you a 10 day forecast. This will be a general reading and will not resonate with everyone and might only fit with a few of you. All right, um, Libra, let's look at what the energies are for you this next 10, uh, the next week or so, next 10 days or so. Let's see what, what you are looking at as far as what will happen um, for you. Day forecast for the sign of Libra. Anyone who has Libra strongly in your chart, this, this reading could resonate for you. So there's a lot happening in the next 10 days, Libra. There really is. There's a lot of action here. Um, we, we have you starting off this time period, moving forward into some kind of experience that you may not have really um, had a whole lot of experience. Uh, you're riding forward into some kind of experience that will really require some some new um, qualities from you or some um, you, you'll really have to dig deeper and find um, some qualities within yourself that maybe you haven't really used yet or some talents or some skills that you haven't really um, put into practice yet. Something you're writing into a situation uh, because you're looking at, you're writing into the situation with the energy of the nine of wands. So whatever it is that you're writing into, you you know that you have the skills and the capacities to do this kind of work or, or experience successfully this situation. But you also know that this experience will require of you something um, that perhaps you haven't really um, put into practice yet. So there's something new that you will have to learn or overcome um, to, to um, find success in whatever you're moving into, and you have a full awareness of that. Nevertheless, you are doing it because you know that it brings you a certain kind of um, nourishment, whatever this is, it brings you a nourishment, whether it is nourishment in financial capacity, nourishment of self-care, nourishment of love, it is providing nourishment for you and it is filling your cup. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it because it is something you value and you treasure and you hold to be um, um, extremely important to your sense of self-worth. All right. Even though you feel that way, and even though you're dedicated to moving forward, this does come with cost to you, right? It does come with worry. It comes with stress. It comes with a significant amount of pressure, all right? But it also comes with a feeling of love. It also comes with inspiration. It also comes with innovation. So you're starting out this next 10 days really um, um, hesitantly moving forward, but having the conviction to do so feeling the love around you for doing it, but also feeling the uh, feeling the pressure around you and knowing that this is really kind of how it feels when you set off in a new direction. It feels like this. This is how it feels. And you're aware of that and you're doing it still, right? You're understanding this is how it feels to be vulnerable. This is how it feels to take risk. This is how it feels to do something different right? You could stay in the same old place. You could continue to move forward as you have been, but there's something about this that really brings um, fulfillment full circle for you. And so it looks like you're starting off on some kind of a new journey and you are allowing yourself to take the time to do it. You're giving yourself space to learn. You're, you're trying to find enjoyment in life while you're doing this, but you are feeling the pressure and you are feeling the awkwardness and the uncomfortableness of doing something different. You're feeling that. Okay. What's really interesting here, um, what is really interesting here, Libra, is there is someone that is coming into your space, perhaps has already been in your space, but there is someone, uh, possibly a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, that is um, has some kind of opportunity to give to you. Now, this new journey that you're taking could be that opportunity. It very well could be, and I feel like it is. So it could be an opportunity in a new relationship. It could be an opportunity in a new line of work. It could be an opportunity in a life mission. Whatever this is, it really fills you with passion, right? It, it, it adds some meatiness to life for you. It adds a kind of a meatiness to life. It, it brings, it, it, it's a hearty kind of a feeling. It's a good feeling. It fills your heart, right? It fills your heart. It makes you feel good. 
Um, but there is a, a sense of worry about this. That you're, you're not quite sure if the King of Cups understands where you stand. You're not quite sure if the King of Cups understands why you're doing this or why you're moving forward. There is a sense here that there are two people that are coming together to, to work on something or to experience a relationship where there could be a slight disconnection in um, the agendas of both people. And I don't mean that you have a, that you are wanting different things or that you won't make this work. That's not what this means. It just means, I think, um, Libra, that you have this feeling that you need to communicate more with the King of Cups because there may be something that the King of Cups is not understanding about how you value this experience or what you see in this experience and why you're moving forward in it. All right, there's something here that the King of Cups isn't seeing, all right? There's something here that will need to be gained in insight by the King of Cups. So, so it's really necessary. Um, it's really important for you, Libra, when the time is right, when you feel peace and when you're in alignment and when you know exactly what you're ready to say, that you come forward and express yourself to the King of Cups. Because I see the King of Cups here with a very good intention, right? There's good intention here. So he is meaning well, this energy, masculine or feminine, well, female or male, this is a masculine energy. This is someone who is moving forward, taking action. All right. He is offering some kind of experience to Libra and Libra is moving forward with it, but feeling a lot of hesitation, feeling worry, but still understanding that there is a real abundant quality here. There's a real tangible, um, a potential here for, for success and whatever this is, whether it's work or love or whatever it is. All right. This is a new chance at doing something different right? This is a new chance at building a beautiful new foundation for yourself with the four of wands, all right? If this is a love relationship, this is someone who's a soulmate. This is someone who really wants to build a long-term relationship with you. They feel a lot of passion for you and they do feel like you um, really light up their life, all right? So that's where they're coming from. But from the Libra's perspective, there's a lot more communication that needs to take place, all right? So this in the next 10 days, this is kind of what's going on with Libra. Okay, it's, it's kind of what's what's happening here. Let's look deeper into some of these energies. Let's look at the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? We also have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So this could very well be counterparts, um, soul connections, soulmates. See, we see the blocking or the self-advocacy here, the need to communicate, the need to explain, the need to um, further some understanding. King of Cups, Ten of Swords. So the King of Cups has been through something himself. He has been through a lot of harsh situations himself. He understands pain. He understands surrender. He understands rebuilding oneself. And then we have the Queen of Cups again. Again, a soulmate confirmation here. This is someone who is really um, in a very feminine energy, has really learned how to, um, in, in his own way, not overgive of himself, to put himself first and to really think about what brings joy to him. Lots of times we, um, in, in a way, we, um, I think, need to, um, as readers, um, really speak from the point of view of the masculine more often. I really do feel like that. And this King of Cups is here um, seeing the Queen of Cups, seeing you, Libra, seeing how far you've come, seeing how you've overcome your hurdles in your life and the difficulties in your life, and is wanting to offer you something here that could potentially be a beautiful, um, passionate love relationship or a passionate, abundant work relationship, something like that. So this King of Cups sees you, see, sees you, Libra, and is coming forward with, with good intentions here with the Ace of Swords. So they're wanting to communicate something. They might feel like you're the one for them. They might feel like you're a divine gift. We do have the Queen of Swords here. So um, this, there you are, Libra. Like, they're like, this, this person, this is my person, right? This is my person. And look, you're, you're the Queen of Swords. You're standing saying, well, I'm not too sure about this. 
who are you to say that I'm your person? You know, it's not really like that, but there is some further communication the Queen of Swords is wanting to make. And you can easily see that because the Queen of Swords is here next to the communication. So she's holding up her own sword, you know, and she's speaking what she wants to speak about this decision that the King of Cups has made or about this communication that the King of Cups has brought forward. So the Queen of Cups has her own words to say, has her own messages to speak, has her own... um her own communication to to extend over to the king of cups let's look at the ace of wands let's look at the ace of wands why is the ace of wands here tell us more about the ace of wands and there is the ace of pentacles all right so it's passion and it's a new reality that's coming forward a new improved potential reality here um, that comes along, excuse me, that comes along with it, with the Ace of Wands. And then we have the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. So again, um, this is a new opportunity and a new potential reality that will really allow you, Libra, to really use a very powerful side of yourself. The side of yourself that is very intuitive, the side of yourself that can perform, that can inspire others, that can be very in, in, innovative in their thinking. This is someone that could be a performer. This is somebody that could be rising into the public eye in some way. But whatever this reality is, um, there is a movement forward here. So we do see here, um, Libra, that you do decide to move forward and engage in this offer Check it out. See what it feels like. See see what the King of Cups intends. Um, communicate. Um, find out um, how the King of Cups feels about you in reality. You know, and and how you feel about the King of Cups. And make sure the King of Cups understands where you stand and why you're interested in this. And and uh, and be very um, as a queen of wand style, be very direct and be very forthright in your communications with the king of cups, because I do think the king of cups will appreciate that. And it will be easy for him to understand what you're trying to say. If you're direct, if you're passionate, if you're full of passion, if you, um, help him to understand that you're interested too, you just have more to communicate. You have questions, you need more information. I think the king of cups will understand that because he is a very kind hearted, and warm-hearted person and he does understand emotional needs of people and so i think he'll be um, willing to explain more to share more with you about where his thoughts are and what his intentions are towards you but it does look like there's a definitely a movement forward by both of you in this situation definitely all right let's look at the four of wands let's look at the four of wands why is the four of wands here of pentacles balance generosity free flowing of um financial um free flowing of money so receiving and giving earning and paying you know it's it's flowing it's a free flow of money not holding on to it not hoarding it allowing a um a, a abundant energy to flow through but again this is financial stability with the six of pentacles so the four of rods comes along with financial stability here this new foundation the new romantic foundation or a new commitment it is not only a new commitment that provides some kind of a a newer foundation but it's also um, a, a balancing of finances yeah the ending of an old situation here it does come with love and it does come with balance so that's what it is it is love it is an offer of love it's an end to a very difficult period of time that was very long and hurtful it is um balance in finances and it is balance in activities balance in where we focus our time so there's um, a change coming in here not only are you going to be in a commitment with someone you are going to start to feel um, a, a more balanced, feel more balanced financially. You're going to experience love again, and you're going to have a more rounded 
um, activity range um, throughout each day where you're going to find more time to be together with someone, you're going to find less time to be at work, you're going to find time to exercise, whatever it is, you're balancing out a situation that you feel has been quite um, lopsided so far in whatever way that makes sense for you. Right? Maybe you've been working too much or maybe you have been um, feeling um, quite lonely. Whatever it is, there's a balancing of that situation. Let's look at the full energy. Why is the full energy here? Please give, give us more information about this new endeavor. Please give us more information about this new endeavor, this new experience. Wish fulfillment, Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles. All right, so we have someone here with the King of Pentacles. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody who's very steady, slow moving, hard working, um, really understanding um, and the need for comfort in, in the third dimension and working very hard, very long hours to, to create the wealth that will allow him to live in, in a very um, financially secure way. So this is a very hard worker, somebody that moves slowly, somebody that studies and, and really researches the path forward and moves forward um, in a very controlled way. Ultimately, this new journey that you're on this new journey that you're on is wish fulfillment for you. It's something that you've been wanting to do for quite some time. It's something that you're doing because you know that it's good for you. You know that it'll bring joy into your life. You know that you need this, this experience. Um, you know that you need um, a refresher. You know that you need something to come in and charge you up and, and light your flame again. You need that passion again. This is wish fulfillment. And the higher font comes up here. It could be Taurus energy. Very, very well could be Taurus energy because we have King of Pentacles here, which could be Taurus. And then we have the higher font, which is also Taurus. But again, this could be a formal relationship. This could be marriage. This could be engagement. This could be um, something that is uh, has a formality around some kind of family structure. All right. So there's a wish fulfillment coming for that. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good weekend.